Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the Gray Fox Manum. This is of course the channel that is dedicated to encouraging men as they enter into the most fulfilling time of their lives. We have a video request today from Bob. He wants us to talk about specifically how not to dress older. Now on this channel, we have talked a lot about how to dress to our strengths. And specifically, we were talking about how to not try to dress younger because if we try to dress younger, that actually draws away from our inherent strengths as gray foxes. But what Bob is talking about is specifically those items that carry that stigma of being old. As men over 40, it's easy to fall into a fashion rut and rely on the same old clothing choices. But dressing well can have a huge impact on your confidence and how you're perceived by others. So let's dive into some ideas that we may have on how we can stay age appropriate and still stylish. Tip number one, guys, tailor your clothes. Now one question for you. Okay. What is the most important rule of men's style? The most important rule of men's style, I would say, is um, fit. Fabio Adnacio, co-founder of TBD Eyewear. My friend, great to see you. I see we're both looking casual today. Yes, we are. One question, what is the most important rule of men's style? Well, uh, the most important rule of men's style, I don't know if there is only one, but for sure I would say you must, be, you must feel comfortable with what you're wearing. The secret of Bespoke, I'm a, a Bespoke enthusiast, is to feel comfortable because Bespoke is all about fit. Andy Poopart from Style After 50, man who needs no introduction around these parts. It's great to see you. Good to see you, Brian. One question, what is the most important rule of men's style? The most important rule of men's style is fit and understanding what fit means. So guys, tip number one, just like all of those experts were saying, tailor your clothes. One of the most important things to keep in mind when not trying to look older is to have clothes that actually fit you properly. It's time to say goodbye to oversized and baggy clothes and embrace a more tailored, sophisticated look. Go to a tailor or a seamstress and have your clothes fitted to your specific body shape. This will instantly make you look a lot sharper and more put together. Tip number two, you can experiment with some different colors and patterns with caution. Another way to freshen up your wardrobe is to experiment with colors and patterns. Don't be afraid to try something new and step out of your comfort zone. Add some focal points of color with a bright tie or a pocket square, or you can try a patterned shirt or sweater just be sure to keep it balanced and don't go overboard with too many bold patterns or colors. It's important to experiment with colors and patterns, but it's equally important to do so with caution. Mixing different patterns or wearing dissonant colors can often result in an uncoordinated and chaotic outfit. A general rule of thumb is to stick to one patterned item per outfit and pair it with solid colors to balance it out. Similarly, when it comes to colors, be mindful of which ones complement each other's and which ones clash. For example, pairing red and green may make you look like a walking Christmas decoration, while wearing something like blue and yellow can make for a more harmonious color combination. By paying attention to color theory and being selective with patterns, you can create a polished and well put together look that doesn't age you. For example, I'm wearing a lavender micro check shirt and a lavender micro check pocket square. The colors aren't exact, the pattern isn't exact, but they don't clash with each other. Tip number three, invest in quality pieces. Investing in quality items is another way to elevate your wardrobe and make you look more stylish. Instead of buying cheap, fast fashion items that wear out quickly, invest in high quality pieces that will last for years. This could be a, a well-tailored suit, a quality leather jacket, or a pair of Italian-made shoes. Not only will these pieces look better, but they'll also save you money in the long run. Now, what I mean by saving you money in the long run, I talk more about the concept of cost per wear in this video right here. Go ahead and watch it after this one. Tip number four, accessorize wisely. Accessories are a great way to add some personality to your outfit, but it's important to do so wisely. 
Avoid bulky or outdated accessories like thick chains or chunky bracelets. Instead, opt for a more subtle and classic pieces. A quality watch, a leather belt, or a simple bracelet can add some sophistication to your look without looking over the top. Remember, mature men, gray foxes such as ourselves, we have the inherent luxury of subtlety. And lastly, tip number five, keep it simple. You don't need to wear the latest trends or have the most expensive clothing to look stylish. In fact, some of the simplest outfits can be the most effective. Stick to classic pieces, such as a well-fitted blazer or crisp white shirt, and accessorize with simple pieces. Oh, and one more thing before we move on. Bob mentions this specifically. If you want to keep from looking old, for the love of God, unless you're a toddler, ditch the Velcro shoes. Velcro shoes may be comfortable and easy to put on, but they can also make you look dated and out of touch with current fashion trends. Instead, opt for a pair of lace-up or slip-on shoes, some loafers that are stylish and, yes, age-appropriate. Not only will this help you look more fashionable, but it will also show that you're up to date with current trends and styles. And remember, the devil really is in the details, so pay attention to the little things. They can help you look much more stylish and age appropriate and not like an old fogey. So there you have it, gentlemen. Just some quick tips to help you not to look old. Remember to tailor your clothes, experiment with colors and patterns, invest in quality pieces, accessorize wisely, and keep it simple. All right, I hope you found these tips to be helpful when thinking of your next springtime outfit in 2023. Hit that like button on your way out the door, but before you go, before you go, it's time for ChatGPT Haiku Harmony. This is where I ask the AI chatbot, ChatGPT, to take the information that we talked about today grind it up in a grinder and spit out a lovely and elegant haiku. So here we go. Music, please. Thank you. Old clothes, tired look. Revamp your style. Find your groove. Fresh and young again. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.